Hey guys, it's Minimize and welcome to episode number two of season two of Rimworld. So many ofs in there. It's obvious that that was a bad pun. Anyway, <laughs> right, we have uh, we have some work to do. Why are these guys not getting up? Come on, it's 7am. This is like a lay-in to you lot. I'll excuse Irioth a little bit because she was a little bit late getting back because we made her pick up the components. So she's probably going to, yeah, she's going to stay in bed for a little while longer, I think. Uh, Raymond is at the research bench doing a little bit of research for us, um, getting the agriculture research done. Carlos is uh, picking up those stone blocks. He is making sure that we're able to craft and create some very decent buildings, especially those made out of sandstone. That's going to be the number one stone that we sort out first. All right, you have granite there, you've got sandstone there, 120 of them. All right, Irioth, what are you up to? You're hauling steel. Superb. All right, how much steel have we got? 718. All right, we don't want to go too much too soon because that's what happened last time. So if we just lay out plans for a sandstone freezer and then we'll work from here. So kind of want it to be, if we go like three and three and we want 15 is it 15 or 17 in total i think it was 15 like that and like that we want nine in the middle all right and then maybe like that i think that sorts us out a freezer maybe if we just go seven in the middle yeah okay we'll just come across here like this if we cancel that and if we cancel this as well um what we'll do then like that and like that should give us nine in the middle it does give us nine in the middle excellent i'm getting better at these uh, and then if we go we'll just go seven uh seven like that um and then we'll bam 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 and bam okay Right, so that gives us an identical size freezer room and an identical, identically sized freezer room and kitchen. They put in the doors like so. And then what we can do, if we mine out this area here, then we can put in some kind of, I think we can put in, uh, will a wind turbine go in there? It will do superb excellent love that and we can also just under power no it's gonna be under temperature put in a couple of coolers all right so one there come one off the wall there that's gonna be good all right and then power wise we can go with a wind turbine Yeah, we go with the wind turbine, and we probably should have made it the other way around, to be fair. Mm -hmm. Shall we? No, nah, we'll, we'll leave it like this. We will leave it like this. It's not, it's not too much of an issue. Okay, right, we'll go like that, and we'll put also a solar generator just in there too. Put one just there, and then we'll run the power. All the way. Oh, nearly messed up there a little bit. Right, run the power through there. Just up there. All the way through there. And then we've got a kitchen, a little tiny workshop area that we can use temporarily until we sort something a little bit better. Right, lovely stuff getting up already. Some berries there. Solar panel is going to get up soon. Structure-wise, we probably want uh, to come down here one and then up here one. Down one, down one again. And we've got access to the kitchen area and access to the freezer as well. I'll probably, if we um, just do this and then do this, access into the freezer from both angles then we can use this as like a growing area too all right excellent 
Right, once this is mined out, and oh, it's taking so long. All right, who's our constructionists? Irioth is our construction worker. She, for the moment, is focusing on the coolers. Okay, and now you've got the steel also focusing on those power conduits, which is good. All right, fantastic. We've got wind turbine. We've got a solar generator, solar panel. We also have two coolers. I'm going to set one at minus six and the other one at minus four. There we are. All right, everyone's in bed already. 1 a.m. this time. Early night for you, wasn't it, Irioth? All right, while they are in bed, I will have a sip of my coffee. Without wanting to jinx it, I am quietly confident. Yes, and as soon as the agricultural research is done, we're going to turn this area, this area maybe, into a growing zone for mushrooms. So like I say, that's the first thing that we do need to grow. Microelectronics basics research will get done. And then we can put an orbital trade beacon and a comms console in there as well. How much uh, steel have we got left? Have we used a fair portion of it? 374 already. Alright, Raymond hasn't got too much left to mine. We've only got one from that. Really? What's your what's your mining skill? Five? I thought you used to get two I'm pretty sure you used to get two components from each of those. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, right. It must be based on your mining skill, I think. I think I said that early, like in uh, the previous episode though, didn't I? You got like random amounts of steel here. Based on whether or not they're actually any good at mining, I think. All right. 380 stone blocks. No, we're looking pretty decent for that. We're looking very decent for that so far. All right, Raymond's back to uh, back to researching. How many uh, package survival mills we've got left? We have 25 of those left. But I think, I'm pretty sure, we'll get the freezer up, or the, the cooler room at least, the freezer, whatever you want to call it, we'll get that up well in time um, for any any other things that we need it for, be it sort of a heat wave or, right, manhunter pack. What we got? A pack of manhunting monkeys. All right, how many is there? There is two. Two manhunting monkeys. Right. They will be coming in very quickly. So let's go... Let's go quick speed for the moment. And you lot can uh, get yourself in here. Alright, Irioth, if you can just switch for a second. Alright, you're all pretty bad at... Um, Bad at shooting. We've got one monkey coming in here. Right, excellent. First one down. Right, second monkey coming in, guys. You did very well, very, very well on the first one. Yes! Heroes. Right, Carlos, because you've been our hardest worker, you can... Do you know what? Should we rescue the monkey or should we finish it off? Let's just put... We're, we're going to be nice. They're going to be very nice. Put just a, a little bed there. I'm going to rescue the monkey. And, um... Purely because our freezer room for the moment, we haven't really got any, uh... We haven't got, really got any way that we can preserve the meat, so... Okay. Not only that, but it'll get him some medical experience as well. But Carlos... Carlos doesn't have medical experience. Neither does Raymond. Uh, it's Irioth, who is our passion for medical. Alright, so the monkey has been healed. The monkey is now ready to rejoin the wild. Alright, we're all in bed again. One o'clock as well. I did say anything up until... I said 
Mm, yeah, I did say anything up until midnight. Midnight onwards is sleep time. You guys are one hour late to bed. Alright, how many components have we got here? So we've got nine plus, we've got 16 total. And we still have 359 steel. And we have 340 stone blocks. So this should... Should, I say... Get finished off and be all okay. Got a boom rat wandering around, which I don't like the look of, because if that goes up, then bam. Alright, Raymond, you are still plowing through the research. Oh, Irioth, why are you feeding? Can we not just make sure that he doesn't get fed. Um, no, we cannot make sure that the... Uh, Right. We cannot make sure of that. That the monkey gets no food. We just can't make sure of it. Um, <laughs> okay, we're, we're going to let the monkey go. I almost for a second thought, you know what, we'll, we'll euthanize the monkey. But nah, okay. We'll, we'll leave him alone. We'll leave him. Or her, rather. Sorry. Didn't mean to offend. Just those big hands of yours. Right, are we can... Hmm, okay, maybe not. Here we off, just carry on doing what you're doing. I was going to stop you for a second, but nah, you, you're doing... You're doing well. You're doing solidly, so just carry on. Continue. Right, Raymond. You are so nearly finished. Right, you are finished. Okay, so, zone area, growing zone, and if we can turn... All of that there into... Mushrooms. If we just find our harvest tool. Here we are. Mushroom harvesting. Uh, one there, one there, one there. Couple there. Alright, brilliant. Should get us a little amount, a little tiny amount of mushrooms and mushroom seeds. And we'll be able to put the mushrooms in the freezer when it's finally finished, and then we'll be able to plant the seeds that it gives us. Just uh, a couple more. Should we get this hill root as well? We'll take the hill root as well. Right, fantastic. One, two, three. Brilliant. Alright, how close are you to being able to be set free? Not that we have to set you free, but still. Ah, uh, there you go. You're off. And you're away. And hopefully thoroughly grateful for our help. As soon as you tried attacking us. Alright, Raymond. Raymond, Raymond. For the minute. Just for the minute, mate. Before you do anything else, if you can change your constructing priority. No, that's Carlos. Carlos, continue. Carry on with what you were doing. Uh, right, Raymond, you come here. You are building sandstone wall. Yes, you are. No mistakes, though, please. We don't want to waste any materials. Right, I thought Carlos was harvesting the mushroom, but he's not. He's just chilling out playing horseshoes. Um, does it still give them experience for shooting? A very tiny amount. A very, very small shooting amount of experience for horseshoes. Very tiny. Alright, so Carlos and Irioth are in bed, spot on midnight this time. Have we have we made that? Have we finished? Raymond's boy, what are you doing? Oh, okay, right. We've obviously not got enough wood anymore. I was wondering what you was doing, but no, it's clear to me now. I was just chop all those trees. That should give us enough wood then to be able to um I've got an idea, actually. I've got an idea. Let's cancel those. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Cancel that. Um, we'll deconstruct that. And then we will put in... Right, let's go structure and we'll put in sandstone blocks. And then that way, I, if everything was to go to rubbish again, that it shouldn't burn. Right, if we deconstruct the two wooden doors, deconstruct that one as well. 
And if we put another one on here, oh, it should be 50, 100, 150, uh, 200, 250, 300. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 700. It should be 700. No, it wouldn't. It would be less than that. It would be 350. There's me getting everything wrong. It should be 350 and we have 390 there. Absolutely superb. All right, guys, come on. It's 6 a.m. You know, it should be up bright and early. There we go. Irioth, Carlos, and Raymond. Raymond, you're still sleeping in. Raymond. Mate, it's nine o'clock now. There you are. Right, now you're up. Alright, we want to put in a battery as well. Escape pod. Right, okay, let's have a look. See who's come down. It is... Croc. Croc. Okay. What do you do? Not an awful lot by the looks of things. Roman Croc Frank. Nervous, trigger happy, beautiful. Incapable of dumb labour, skilled labour and caring. So he can't... He's a sheriff. Alright, okay. So he's capable of art and he's capable of shooting people and bashing people in the head, but not really capable of too much else. So what I think we'll do, I think we will leave him. All right, we'll have a butcher table just in here. And we'll have a an electric stove just in here. Put a hold on that for the minute. If you lot are able to, have we got a roof set to be built over the top of it? Right, roof area there. And roof area here too. And then what we want after that, what we do want is... Should we go with a large steel battery or a smaller steel battery? Let's go with the large one. We'll grab a large one, we'll stick it just in there. And that should store quite a bit of power then, I think. Uh, Lane from Chaos Organization was wandering nearby and noticed you could use some help. Uh, he's a space pirate and his traits are chemical interest, nudist and nervous. Seeing as we don't have to spend any effort, we don't have to um, take any time to try and recruit him. Um, we will take Lane. I don't know what he's going to be like. Not entirely sure, but space pirate sounds ominous. Right, Lane, what are you all about? Uh, incapable of intellectual. You're a nudist, you're nervous, and you have a chemical interest. So chemical interest, nudist, and nervous, I don't particularly like as traits. But though, but, 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 it's capable of social, good at shooting and melee. Cooking, we can use him for cooking, and artistic, we can just use him to make art. So that's fine with me. We will want to make a bed and put a bed in too. Probably want to do a couple. All right, there we go. Um, okay, right, so, Lane, let's put you to work. Firefighting all the way to flicking is going to be up to one. Three for that, nine for that, three for negotiating. Three for cooking and hunting, nine for constructing. Uh, you're going to have nine for growing, nine for mining. Plant cutting, five. Hauling, cleaning, five. Nines for those, and two for art. So you will be an artist as and when it's required. Right, so for the moment, Lane, that is a mighty fine beard, I might add. Looking a little bit like Jesus there. Age 23, no health conditions. So, yeah, should be good. A semi-decent acquisition, I think. Right, Raymond, you are sorting out some stuff there. You, We don't really need you now, actually. Uh, Raymond, if you go back to doing what you were doing. Raymond? Okay, well, you could have gone back to doing what you're doing and not ruined the door, but okay. Fair enough. Alright, so Raymond will be sorting out the microelectronics basics research. Who was our grower? It was Carlos and if we go three for you on that, you can do two for growing there. And then hopefully once uh, Carlos has crafted this block, he will. 
sort out some food for everybody. Food in terms of going and harvesting all these mushrooms and then regrowing them. Um, right, let's just check the power conduits quickly. Power conduit, yeah, that's all connected and hooked up. That is absolutely fine. We'll um, unforbid the cooker. Alright, Carlos is sorting that out. Beautiful stuff. Alright, he's chopping those up, cutting those. Don't know if that comes under growing, Carlos. I thought trees was plant cutting. Maybe not, it might not be. I might be lying. I might have been lying to myself all of this time. Alright, Carlos, Irioth and Raymond. Lane, where are you sleeping? You are sleeping outside by the trees that you've just chopped down. Um, 754 wood, which is a quite a decent amount, to be fair. Alright, okay, so floors-wise, floor-wise, floor-wise, we have... Alright, plywood panels. What do you... Beauty minus three, so beauty's absolutely rubbish. This wooden flooring is... doesn't have any beauty at all. And the more floor stuff, the wooden floorboards, vertical wooden floor, has nothing either. Barn board floor, work to build, doesn't have any um, negative points to it. So barn board floor, what we do, you can come in, we can build you here. Just in our freezer area. Be fine. Oh, major break risk. Whose lane is at risk of a major break? Okay, who's our best constructor? It is Irioth. Irioth, can you possibly, when you get up, I know it's like 8 o'clock, so it's still early. It's not really though, is it? Come on. Um, if you can just make a bed for Lane, please. Just before you do anything else. Did we make those all gates? Gate and gate. Gate and gate. Yeah, we did. I didn't think we did, but we must have done. Okay, so we have an electric stove. Probably need now some uh, some wood there for the butchering table. The monkey that we killed earlier is now rotting, so we can't use him as food. Unfortunately. Alright, Lane's playing horseshoes. I have some beds done and sorted there. Right then, Irioth. Doing some fantastic work again. Oh. Could, could you not have done the butcher table first? Thought you might have been able to do the butcher table first, then we can start cutting stuff up. Alright, what we will do is create a zone and area and a stockpile zone just in here. Or everything. Well, what we'll do, we'll allow all for the minute. We'll allow all except for... No, no we won't. We won't. Alright, preferred. Let's go allow foods, allow medicine and drugs. And then if we go allow corpses. And then raw resources and plant matter. Apart from seeds, we won't store seeds in there. I think that is what we want to do. Alright. It is indoors. It's 35 degrees there. So temperature minus 6, temperature minus 4. It may well be... This doesn't settle itself down. I'm just looking at the temperature just down here. Indoors, 2 degrees, 1 degree. So we may well need another cooler in there. I've got a feeling we probably will. Alright, Irioth. Excellent. Alright, how much more wood have we got? 593. Are we able to get any kind of decent floor down in here? So more floors. Um, try a mosaic. What about wide wooden? No. Uh, mosaic or vertical? Vertical doesn't have any. No, it doesn't. Wooden floorboards. A beauty of one. Mosaic, a little bit extra, and a beauty of two. 
All right, let's let's go let's go mosaic. It's like that's gonna cost like eight hundred and something wood, but yeah. Anyway, it doesn't doesn't matter, does it? Doesn't matter. Barn board floor. Let's just come in and just um. Is that already? Okay, maybe maybe that's already there. I didn't think it was, but apparently it is. Oh, we have 86 mushrooms now. Still need to deconstruct these doors here as well. Uh, Raymond's still vigorously working on that uh, on that research bench there. He has uh, sorted himself halfway through the microelectronics basics research. And we still have 278 wood left. That's all going to deplete totally once this um, floor is down. Alright, how much steel? We still have components times 11. Um, steel, we have 104. So we probably want to start mining out this other area. So if we go vein mine and then mine that. Was you a miner at all, Lane? You weren't. Okay, no worries. Never mind. Right, okay, what we're going to do, we're going to leave that there for episode two. Um, thank you again for watching. If you can drop a like on the video, if you can comment, if you can subscribe to the channel as well. Like I say, I will love you forever. Um, so yeah, see you later. Catch up with you soon and ciao for now.